right, in this video, this is going to be the solution to number one in the free ATIT's math practice test that I have posted over at idomath.weebly.com. Before we jump into this solution, I do want to remind you that you can find this free practice test. It used to be under the extras tab. Now it's underneath the free practice test. And check here to make sure you get the most up-to-date version. I did have to make a recent update to a typo that I made on question number 24, the answer to number 24, that is. And also, underneath the mixed review, the series I just finished back in December of 2017, I have also uploaded the PDF format of all of those questions, whereas here, these are the individual videos, but that's a PDF file that has everything that you have been watching in a PDF format. So here at question number one, we want to divide two mixed numbers, and we want to leave our answer as a mixed number. And these three key steps here are what I typically do when I'm dividing mixed numbers. The first thing is convert the mixed numbers to improper fractions. So we have 7 and 5 6 divided by 2 and 2 thirds. 7 and 5 6, if we take the 6 times the 7, that gives us 42. 42 plus 5 gives us 47 over 6. This mixed number, 7 and 5, 6, is the same thing as 47 over 6, except now we have an improper fraction. Divided by 2 and 2 thirds, let's do the same thing, taking our denominator, 3 times 2 is 6. 6 plus that 2 gives us 8 over 3, and this is what we're trying to divide. Now, when you divide fractions, we can keep change flip to help with dividing fractions. Therefore, I'm going to keep the first fraction the same, 47 over 6. Keep, change your division to multiplication, and then flip your second fraction. This is the same thing as dividing fractions, multiplying by the reciprocal. Keep, change, flip. Since we can use a calculator on the t's test, let's just go ahead and multiply these two fractions. We take top times top, bottom times bottom, so 47 times 3. We're multiplying those two numerators together. We have 141. Now sure, here you could do some simplifying before that, but since we can have a calculator and we're all about speed on the t's test, 47 times 3 is 141. Now do the same thing to your denominators, bottom times bottom, 6 times 8 is 48. And now we want to simplify this and convert back to a mixed number if necessary. We're definitely going to have a mixed number here since this answer, this solution, this quotient that we have here is an improper fraction. I'm going to simplify first. We can divide the top and bottom by 3. Maybe you did notice that up here. We could have divided by 3 here before we multiply. As a matter of fact, I will come back and show you that at the end to show you how we do get the same answer. So let's divide these by 3 to simplify this fraction. So taking that 141, dividing it by 3, our new numerator is going to be 47. Hmm, that looks familiar. And then taking the 48 divided by 3, we should get 16 right there. So now, therefore, we have 47 over 16. This is our improper fraction. We want to convert back to a mixed number if necessary, and we do need to do that here. A quick way to convert an improper fraction back to a mixed number is to do a little bit of long division. 47 over 16 is the same thing as 47 divided by 16. Now recall, 48 divided by 3 was 16, so 16 will not go into 47 three times. The most that 16 can go into 47 without going over is 2 times. 16 times 2 is 32. Let's find the difference of these. 7 minus 2 is 5. 4 minus 3 is 1. And there we have it. This right here will give us our mixed number. 16 goes into 47 two whole times with a remainder of 15 over 16. So 2 and 15 sixteenths is our final answer to this problem here. So again, following along with these steps here, should you run across a problem where you have to divide mixed numbers, convert the mixed numbers to improper fractions, keep change flip, simplify if necessary, and then convert that back to a mixed number. Now what I did want to show you here, a little shortcut, is that this 47 over 6 times 3 over 8, if we multiply these like we did here, we got 141 over 48. We can divide these two by 3 right off the bat. 
3 divided by 3 gives us 1, 6 divided by 3 gives us 2, and now notice when you multiply your numerators, 47 times 1 is 47, 2 times 8 is 16. So we're left with that same fraction here that we had when we simplified. That's very helpful, not absolutely necessary, but that can speed up your process a little bit. But again, since we had the calculator, there's absolutely nothing wrong with just going ahead and multiplying your top pieces and multiplying your bottom pieces. And there you have it. That's the solution to number one on the free ATIT's math practice test that I have over at my website, idomath.weebly.com. And that's it for this video. I hope it helped.